Birth weights of twins are normally distributed with a mean of 5.2 pounds and a standard deviation of 1.42 pounds. Find the probability that a twin is born weighing more than 6 pounds. This is a normal distribution, so we're going to make a sketch of what is going on here. So we've got this normal distribution and the mean is right in the middle at 5.2 pounds and we are asking what is the probability that some x value some weight of a baby is greater than six I don't think any parent would like me to refer to their child as an x value but this is what we're, we're looking at six and we're trying to find this area to the right of six greater than six now we're going to use Excel. There are you can convert this to a z-score and then and look at the table and find a um, an area and all that stuff. And that's that's really that's a, a great way to do it. But Excel's faster, so let's let's do it there. All right. First of all, Excel um, the the function for Excel is equals norm dist, and then you type in the x value which is going to be uh, 6 in our, in our example here, the mean, the standard deviation, and then it asks whether or not it's cumulative, and that will be true. So I'll just put that right here. This is true. Always. Always for the normal distribution. Okay. The way Excel works is when it is asking whether or not you want it to be cumulative and you say yes it always 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 gives you this area to the left of the number that you put in so using the idea of the complement and the the total area under the curve is one the way we're going to find this area to the right of six if excel will give us the area to the left then what we want to find the area to the right we're just going to have to say 1 minus what Excel gives us. So 1 minus the norm dist. And in, in, our, in our example, it's 6 and so on, the rest of this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to type that right into Excel, and we're going to get the answer. So equals 1 minus norm dist of, and by the way, if you... Uh, if you didn't remember how this is spelled, when you get go to do this again, you can always go to the insert function. It works the same way on every version of Excel. Okay, equals 1 minus the norm disk for, because we're looking for the area to the right of a value. And then Excel walks you through it. What, it. what is it looking for? It's looking for the x value. That's 6. The mean is 5.2. The standard deviation is 1.42 in this example. And... Cumulative, we say true. And voila, here is our answer. And so just so there's uh, no confusion, that's that's this area in red. So that's that's what we have is is rounding to point two eight seven. That's that's answering this question. In the second Question, what percent of twins are born weighing between 5 and 6 pounds? Let's do the same thing. It's very a very good idea to write a, draw a little sketch of the question at hand. So we've got the mean again at 5.2, and you have between 5 and 6. So 5 is just a little bit below 5.2, 6 is above 5.2. So we are looking for this area under the curve, the area between 5 and 6. Now, some of you have already probably figured out what we're going to do in Excel to find this area. Because Excel always gives us this area to the left, right? So if we did um, norm dist, with the 6 and all this other information, we would get this area in orange, all the area to the left. And if we did norm dist 
with a 5 and all this other stuff, we would get this area in the yellow. So orange minus yellow will leave us with red. This is, this is not an artistic thing, but the way I have this color coded. So the area to the left of 6 minus the area to the left of 5 will give us exactly what we're looking for. And, and what we are looking for is this probability, and I know we'll turn it into a percent in the end, but we're looking first for the probability that x is between 5 and 6. So let's do that. We'll type it in right here just the way I have it uh, written down. So equals norm dist of what? Norm dist of, we're going to do 6 first, 6, and then we've We've got to put in the mean of 5.2 comma standard deviation of 1.42 comma true. We want that to be cumulative minus the norm dist. Let's move this over so you can s play along here and see what I'm typing in. Norm dist, remember that we were doing 5 next. That is the area to the left of 5 comma 1 point, oops, 5.2. 5.2 is the mean, comma, standard deviation is 1.42, comma, we say true. We're looking for that cumulative, that area to the left of 5, and I will say enter. Move this back so we can uh, see what I had written over there in the black. And we get the point two six nine as our answer. That's, that's our probability. It asks for a percent, so let's just play this magic game and convert this into a percent. That's, that's not that difficult to do. We'll say that is approximately equal to 26.9%. So 26.9%, almost 27% of twins are born between the weights of 5 and 6 pounds.